are an object at rest and to stay at rest unless a force is acted upon it. Let's get to it! Notice when life hands stop, the pie keeps going, specifically on Dr. Melee. The pie is in motion and stays in motion until it hits the opposing force, Dr. Melee. Oh no! What are you doing here? You shouldn't be here! Life! Get out of here! Get this out of here! You shouldn't be clogging up my video! As you saw, my feelings was at rest and would continue to be at rest until life kicked it out of frame. So in the case, life's foot would have been a force acting upon my feelings to go into emotion. <laughs> It is said that the total force is proportional to the mass of acceleration. In other words, more weight requires more force to move at a certain speed in comparison of lighter objects. It takes a great force to move that car, and one person t intends to be that force. And her name is Dr. Mayla. Maybe she won't be that force. Well, it's not my fault I can't apply enough force to move the bleeping car. Plus, there's a lot of friction between the car and this gravel driveway. Everyone blames friction. Why you? Life, life, come here, come here! Let all this life know I'm going to apply the Newton's second law on her. Shh, we don't tell. Oh, life! As you can see, life's mass is much lighter than that of a car, so it is easier to push her about just as she can push me! For every action, there is an opposite and equal reaction. You see, for this next one, I took a very comical approach. Look at this towel. Now, if I just... Whoa. You see, the towel is the action force, so when I pushed on it, there was a hilariously painful reaction. The towel was driven forward because it lacked friction to drive it back. So when I pushed on it, the towel pushed me back. Now, what can I do to make a great impact on the kids so they completely understand Newton's third law? Aho! Oh, now can anyone tell me why that hurts so much? No one? <laughs>